You don't know what time it is. Morning, afternoon, morning. Morning, afternoon. Young Ricky, oh, I like that. I'll take that. Absolute fibs, but I'll take it. Can't be arsed with that. There's that. I'm going to lift it upside down, it's going to break, isn't it? Hmm. Well, that's definitely coming home. Yeah, should make the bread the same with Mickey, yeah, Mickey shape. Thank you. Let me get a basket today. Is that all right? Yes. Starbucks gold mug. <laughs> Took a chance on that. Go on then. It's Christmas. Oh, there's two of them. Sneaks. Yeah. Good morning, dear. Are you all right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, all good. Child, thank you. I'll leave it there, Sam, because most of it's kitchenware. Okay. So lovely. Thank you. Don't worry, I'll, I'm, I'm empty it for you anyway. <laughs> Oh, something like this before. Something similar. I can't remember who the brand was. I can't remember, but for two quid, I'm pretty sure it was all right. I reckon I can get that now. 15, 7.50. Yeah, very good. Looks like I'm starting to start in a new kitchen, doesn't it? <laughs> Come on, tell us about it. Where are you moving to? <laughs> She's doing my head in. Yeah, if I ever did move, I could just come here and get a whole new kitchen, couldn't I? I'm going to ask if they'd mind. Can I be a nuisance to pop that down there? Yes. Is that sure. right? Otherwise, I have to quit shopping and you don't want that. That's snazzy, isn't it? Your lift designs are good, they are. If it's two pounds, I'll get it. Three pounds. Is there a key with it? Is the key in there? No. Oh, there's the key. We love that. Snazzy. Hey, up. Hey, up. Trying to be Thomas Burberry. I'm trying. Oh, I'm a sucker though. I'm a sucker for the Nova check. How much is it? Nah. God, they're massively heavy. 50 quid. 25. I'm tempted though. What are they? No, I'll just let you can buy them for like 25, 35. Might as well just add to it, anyway. You add to it. Do whatever you like, mate. I'm going to be finishing in a minute anyway. Put it back on the shelf. No, don't do that. Oh my god, no. Why is there a hundred Roman swords a pound? They look like they've been sat in a toy shop for the last 20 years, eh, don't they? Look, they're all dusty. I reckon someone's cleared out an old barn and found them. Yeah. Cool, though. I'm going to look into this one. People are saying it's from the 80s, but, oh yeah, quite possibly. Yeah. I'm just gonna ask, oh, sorry, mate. 
Good afternoon, ladies. Hiya. Does anybody know if this came with another one or is it just that one? That's on its own. It's a shame, yeah, isn't it? I think they I come know. in pairs normally, these ones. Oh, do they? Yeah, no, exactly all on its own. Yeah. Yeah. So. I tell you, it's, it's lovely when it's switched on. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's very cool. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, I'll be ready whenever you are now. Yeah? Yeah, I'm not going to stop looking though. Because you never know. That's cool, isn't it? Can't find much on it, so I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna get it. I think I don't really care about the process. I know these can do well. Okay, fifty quid or what? Yeah, fifty. Okay, I think we'll take that. I'm not gonna get this one just yet. No, that's fine. I've just researched. I think it's all there. I'm pretty sure it's all there. So we'll have that. Yeah. Yeah. What have I spent so far? Forty quid then, isn't it? Then that's okay. I don't mind that. That's good. I sell it, don't I? A lot of it gets kept, a lot of it gets sold. It all depends on what it is. Okay. That's £8.20 then, please. What is that? Yeah, 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 but yeah, I buy, I buy and sell quite a lot. Um, it's, it's never going to make me rich. No, but you enjoy doing it. That's I love thing. doing it. I love it. I love coming in here. I love seeing people. I love chatting with people. It, yeah, yeah. Um, I think it comes, it comes off really weird. It's like, there you go. There you go. Yeah, I love what I do. It's the main but it's thing. never going to um... make you a millionaire. Huh? No. no, my car's on finance. The mortgage isn't paid. <laughs> but you're happy. That's the main <laughs> We're thing. All right. Is that going to be all right? Though? Yeah, absolutely fine. Oh, what a blame. No, no, no. You're all right. Cheers. Beautiful stuff. Thank That's you ever so much. Then. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Ooh, hey, 40 quid spent. I think we're going to do very well. That was a fun little charity shop trip. But before we go into that, I've got a few sales that I want to get out. So I'm going to get those done because it is... hope that's all right. It is absolute turmoil in here at the moment. And I really need to get it sorted out. And the only way I can do that is if I get through the sales. So we'll start off with Vinted. £7.77. We've sold this British Lions rugby top. I think it's British Lions. I don't really know, to be honest with you. Little bit of cracking and wear on the logos, everything's mentioned. £7.77. Nice. Trash still on me, I'm trashing everything today. Nice little start off. The bag that I picked up for £2.75, the sheep's testicle, sold for £8 all in. Rhino and Pell. Nice little brand to look out for, actually. Big thank you to Darren. He has picked up the Fendi glasses case. Oh my god, it's got a cobweb on there. That's how long I've had this for a very long time. He's paid £3.21, 321, we love a nice number. He left a lovely message as well and it says, Hi Ricky, recent subscriber. I know you have a penchant for weird numbers. I do. And I wanted to help support the channel. I got, bearing in mind, this was actually listed for 234, I think. He's paid 321. Got into reselling recently on the side and thoroughly enjoy it. Your videos have given me some great tips. You're welcome, man. Looking to take my daughter on a magical holiday to Florida with the earnings one day. You definitely will, Darren. Anyway, massive appreciation for what you're doing for the community. Wishing you the best for you and your family. Darren, I appreciate that, mate. Thank you ever so much. I look forward to seeing the pictures of you when you do take your daughter to Florida. Horizon Air Cap has sold for £5. I've actually just taken photos of loads of hats. And I've filled out the rest of them as well. So I've got loads to list. I've actually got a massive bundle of vintage caps that all have some kind of floor. Some really nice hats in there. So I'm just going to list them as a massive bundle. Somebody can do as they want with them, can't they? Horizon Air sold for £5. John's actually picked this one up now. I listed it yesterday, sold yesterday for £13.13. .13. It is a really smart vintage leather animal wallet. He actually bought something else as well, but we'll move into that when we move into the eBay stuff because he went over there to buy it. So cheers, Ricky. Always appreciate your channel and everything you do. I appreciate you, John. Paid £1, I think, sold for £13.13. 13, and I think that's still a bargain as well. Some of these vintage surfwear wallets, Rip Curl, Quicksilver, Animal, they can do really, really well. So don't just pass them by. I know Sports Direct ended up flogging them for like two pound each, but that Mark Astley bloke, whatever his name is, he ruined it for everyone. But the old stuff, the quality stuff, no fear as well. Keep an eye out for the vintage stuff. Money. Alison has actually picked up a bundle from me. So I'll show you what that is. The bundle comes to a grand total of 25 pound and 58. And it consists of the Adobe t-shirt on the beefy Haynes tag. Really nice one. This was like a showing off what Adobe can do kind of t-shirt back in the day. Early 2000s, I think it was when I did my research. So that plus the Revel kit pack. The little transformer bundle. 
apparently they're quite good. And the 90s vintage Levi's, they are weathered, they are worn, again, all listed. So that's probably the appeal for them, to be honest with you. So all of that for 25.58. Alison, I massively appreciate it. She actually went onto my store and sent me offers on like four different things. So I said, before you pay, go to my page and create a bundle. That way you can get a discount as well and it'll work out cheaper for you. So that's exactly what Alison did. So I appreciate it, Alison. Thank you. Right, eBay now. I've got it packed up. I'll see if I can remember to a screenshot. I've been getting better at that recently. £12, we've sold the Kill Spindy jumper. It's a really good brand to be looking out for. It is a hard one on the tongue for me. Kill Spindy. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sold for £12, and that is cheap. You can actually get a bit more for them on there than that, to be honest. £12.99, we've sold the Avon Swans. You've got 5 mil, 10 mil, and 15 mil. They're measuring spoons. Just really, really nice from Avon. £12.99. And as I mentioned, John went over to eBay and picked something else up from me. He has purchased the English Heritage rug that I paid £6 for, I think, £7. Can't remember exactly. It's a really, really nice one. Nice throw rug, nice picnic blanket, end of the sofa blanket, chair blanket, whatever you want to do with it, blanket. He's paid £24.99. So, John, I appreciate you, mate. Thank you so much. So, we went over to Vinted, then he also bought something from my eBay store. Everything should be linked down below. Vinted as well now. Pretty sure I've done it now. It's all there. And all the items that I use for my store when I'm recording, when I'm filming, when I'm packing, all of the stuff is linked down below in affiliate links, in send off links. Everything's there. My taxing, my accountancy, all the questions that I get asked where can I find you here? What do you use for that? I promise everything is down below. I put a big list for you so you don't have to hunt around everywhere. It's even in sections. So I made it nice and easy for you. So let me get those packed up and then we'll move into and have a look and see what we picked up from the charity shop. Some cool little things. I think I spent a grand total of around £40. In fact, I think it was £40 and 20p. First one was £32. Held off on buying the other thing for £8 until I realised. They charged me 20p for a bag. £40, 20 pence. And just like that, we're all packed up and ready to move into what we picked up today. And there's quite a little festival of items here, isn't there? So this is a brand that I've never heard of before, but the Australian and the funky design, though very Coogie esque Coogie is also an Australian brand, I do believe. It just drew me in. It's really, really nice. It's by a company called Orientique, naturally Australian. So I'm guessing it's quite a heritage brand. Just really funky designs. It's not 90s. I think it's just made to look like that. Just... Just really, really nice top. Really nice. Six pounds paid on that. They're managing to get like 40, 50, 60 quid for jackets, like anywhere from 20 to that. So I think I'm going to be okay for my six pound. Might well be an eBay job, this one. So maybe list it for about 39.99 and see where we can go from there. Lovely little tiffin box. I couldn't think of the name when I was in there, but I remember now it's tiffin. These sell really well. This is a really nice color as well. Really quite a decent color to find. But these, um, they, Stack together, so you lock it in there for travel. You've got your top section here. Then you should have a center section. Oh, don't tell me it's not. Oh, it is. There's a center section here with dividers. And then the bottom section. So you can separate. You can do like your egg salad, do you know what I mean? Eggs in the bottom, salad in the middle. I don't know, sauces on top. That was only £2. I'll see about 20 25 out of that. Definitely put things like camper van in the title for these sort of things. People have these on display in their camper vans and things like that. You probably use them as well, but they look great on display in camper vans. So make sure you use camper van in the title when you're listing stuff like that. Any sort of picnic -y stuff really works really well. Another Dulwich Designs jewellery box. This one I don't think has ever been used. The key's there somewhere. This one's just a really sturdy, solid one. I did show it in the shop, but I know that I'm one-handed in there, so I don't really know. Just a really nice one. A little pull-out drawer here. Little section for your rings up there, your little earring, your bitch, your odds and ends, little mirror there. Just really, really nice. The keys are there, tag is still on it. Beautiful, no scratches, no mark. Well, there's a few little marks, but nothing like that shows it's been drastically used. Just really nice. Three pounds should get 15 to 18 quid on that. This is worth less than I thought it was because the one I picked up before was actually a musical one. This one I don't think is. I haven't really tested it yet. No, I don't think it's a musical one. But it's a Mickey Mouse toaster. So it actually imprints the Mickey Mouse logo onto your toast. Paid five pounds for it. It's only worth about 15 quid. Oh well. They obviously did so, you know, they obviously just released like cheaper versions for us brokies. Drew and Cole soup maker. This has been in the shop now for a little while. In fact, some of you might remember when I said, oh, I'm gonna get that, and then I left it because it was 15 quid. Today it's been reduced to seven pounds fifty. Max capacity on this is just over 1.5 litres, so it's quite a good one, quite a decent one. £7.50, should sell for about £29.99. I could, if I wanted to, split it all out for parts. I could sell the top with the blender, could sell the bucket. 
but I won't because I can't be bothered. It's not worth that much split up. Seven pounds fifty, twenty nine ninety nine. I'll get out of that. Might even put it on marketplace for twenty. See if I can get any takers. Suit makers disappear. Thing is, I list it on marketplace for twenty. Somebody will offer me fifteen. If I list it for fifteen, somebody will offer me ten. If I list it for a fiver. They'll say, "Do you mind if I just have it?" I fell in love with this one quite quickly. Look at that little coffee maker. So your heating elements just here with your plug. You've got your coffee bowl. Look at that light, lovely design. Very 50s or 60s. I'm guessing it's got to be 50s, maybe 60s, because it still has the uh, filter in here. But it's a Proctor Silex. Check out Bob Proctor if you want some life lessons. But Proctor and Silex. It's a fucking crack. No, it's just a battery mark. Nice ring to it. Just really, really nice. Just really nice. I wasn't sure if it was missing any pieces. Found some listings online and checked out the manual that they had on there. I think so. This, things like this, they don't always go to people who want coffee. Props will need something like this. So if somebody's doing a 1950s period film, 1960s, whatever this is, I'll do some cool research. They're going to need this to have on the side. They'll probably fill it with like black water or something and pour it onto the, you know, pour it to the actor's cups. But stuff like this does really well. I paid £8 for it. I think there's 40 to 50 in that. Now, I could be very wrong. We'll soon find out as, well. as the days go on and the videos progress. We'll soon find out, won't we? But I think 40 to 50 quid there. I hope so, anyway. Two little Starbucks mugs. I always struggle to say that. Two little Starbucks mugs, cups, reusable. If only you knew how long it took me to say. 75 pence each. I'll sell the pair together for like eight pound on vintage done it before i'll do it again that's not a bad little price for these so and it's the right seasons coming up very christmasy and gold and snazzy you know don't know why i said snazzy like that and then this absolute beauty for seven pounds it is from the 80s i've done some research into it the build the makeup of it it's an older one they should have a little snap where are they what side are they on they catch you up. Which one? Cut it off. There you go. Yeah, it's definitely an older one. These things here, they've got a little loops. So you lift them up, put the bowl on, and look at that. It's a pain. So, I mean, that's just, that's just a crack waiting to happen. But they do come in pairs normally. This is a lovely looking one. It's a lady looking up. I don't know what she's doing. She's probably thinking, oh. God help me! I'm sure that's what she's thinking. Paid £7 for that. Somebody's got one listed on Etsy for 99 There's one for 178 on eBay. There's a pair for 200 I think it was. I don't know. Probably list it for like 60 70 See if I can get a shot of it. Just take some offers, I guess. But just a really, really nice piece. And it's a really fun day today. I really enjoy picking up like random selections of stuff. They're my kind of... That's why I miss the car boot size. But they'll be back soon. <laughs> they'll be back. So yeah, lovely little selection of stuff. Decent. Thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate you taking a look at this video right now. YouTube thinks you'll like it.